In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the user role in WordPress. So in WordPress, there's multiple ways to get the user role, and there's WordPress functions that you can use to get the user role. But if you wanna get the user role directly from the database, I'm gonna show you guys in this video how to do that. So let's get started. Here on our ideapro.io site, that we do testing and examples with, I'm gonna create a new file in the root of the website. And we're just gonna call it userrole.php. I'm gonna save that and we're gonna call it userrole.php. So there we go. So we're in the root directory of the WordPress website. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna open up some PHP tags. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna say require once and we're gonna bring in the wp-load.php and that loads all the WordPress functions and database connections and stuff like that that we need. Now, WordPress has the WPDB ob object that's pulled in from wp-load.php and that object has our connection to our database and stuff like that in there. So if we have a user that we want to find the role and you've done this programmatically or you know, whatever you're doing to, to need the role, there are WordPress functions that you can use to get that role. But let's say we're, we're building a query and we want to include that query as a join, right? And we don't want to use the WordPress function for every user. We want to pull a bunch of users and include that role with the user. So I'm going to show you guys where that is kept in the database and how to just pull that user role, okay? So our user is gonna be ID of three. So that's just a user that we have in this ideapro.io site that we want to pull the role for, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say get role. Oops, if I can type. And then we're gonna call the WordPress DB um, get results. And what that does is it gives you the ability to basically write any database query that you want uh, from the WPDB object. So get results will return whatever database query that you put in here. Now, we're not gonna write a big join query or anything like that. I wanna make it as simple as possible. So I'm gonna write this query just to pull that user's role, okay? So we're gonna say select meta value from, and now this is where we're gonna pull in the table for the user meta table. So we're gonna say WordPress DB, we're gonna call that object and we're gonna say prefix. Now what that is is the prefix tells us what the table name is. So by default, WordPress puts in WP underscore and then whatever the table name is. You can, in the installation process, you can change the name of that table if you want. And it's very advisable to change that to something that's not the default WP underscore table. It makes it a little bit more difficult for people to hack the site if they're able to get into the file structure. So keeping the WP underscore is a little bit um, and a little bit insecure. So I would suggest changing it, but this WPDB object and then calling prefix tells us what that prefix to the table is. So we do that and then we say user meta because the role for the user is stored in the user meta. I really wish that the user role was stored in the user table. It would make querying users a whole lot easier and faster and not have to worry about querying a second table for that um, for that role because we use roles quite a bit in the different development that we do. Where, so this is gonna be our where clause. ID is equal to, and we're going to use that user ID up here. So we're gonna use two single quotes and then two double quotes with two periods in there. And that gives us the ability to put in this user variable. So that user variable is there. And now we're, need, we're gonna need to call the query for, or the 
the key, the meta key for the capabilities. So we're going to say where ID is equal to user and the ID of that user and meta key is equal to, and we're going to open up two double quotes, two dots, and we're going to call that WPDB prefix again because WordPress uses the WPDB prefix also in the capabilities key for the role, okay? So WPDB prefix, and then out here it's going to say capabilities. And I have a tendency to misspell that, so capabilities, I think that's right. All right, so that's going to tell us, it's going to say select meta value because the roles are stored in that meta value from the user meta table where ID is equal to user and meta key is equal to the table prefix underscore capabilities. Now, it will automatically have that final underscore and everything that's in that table prefix. So we just need capabilities in there, all right? So then we're gonna come here and we're going to do a print array to see what's in that get role variable here that from the from the results. So we're gonna copy that. If I copied it, I'll copy that and we're going to paste it here. And we're gonna save this and we're gonna come over to our page and we are going to go to this user role.php. So we're going to do slash user role.php. Okay. And so it says that there is nothing in that array. So we did something wrong. Get role, get results, select meta value from prefix user meta, where ID is equal to user. and meta key is equal to capabilities. Okay, so what we did wrong is there's not an ID in the user meta table. The user meta table, the ID is for that user meta, but we want user underscore ID because in the users table, the ID, capital I, capital D, is the ID of that user. But in the user meta table, it's user underscore ID, okay? So we're gonna save that. We're gonna come back over here to our page and we're gonna refresh. All right, there we go. So now we have an array of um, the different roles that would be in there. And then inside of this zero array is the object for meta value. So if there's multiple, um, roles in the database, I like to use just the first role. Um, I don't like to have multiple roles for a user in, in WordPress and just not sure why they would want to do that anyway. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna get what this role is. Now, if you look here, we've got an A and a one and S 10 subscriber B1. What that is, is it's a serialized value. So the um, if you were to pull this from using, let's say example, um, you could say get user, the user, get underscore user underscore meta, call the user ID capabilities, and it would give you an array of this same thing. So let me do that just to show you guys what I'm talking about. So we're gonna come down here just a little bit. And so we know that username. So we're gonna say get, let's call you, let's call it user role equal to get user meta. So this is another way you could do it. And we're gonna say user because that's our uh, user up here ID. So user three. And then here we're going to call in that capabilities key. And again, we're gonna to need to use WPDB prefix dot, we're gonna open up two single quotes, capabilities, and then we're gonna say true. Now, yes, you can do it this way. And there's also a, a, a way to get the user by the uh, a WordPress function. But like I said, if you're trying to do it where you're doing a join statement, where you're joining multiple users and their role together, 
you can, it's harder to use get user meta because then you got to do a for each for each user that you've pulled and it takes longer. A join statement in a database query like this is much faster than a for each going through each user and getting the user meta or using the other function to pull the user role. So to show you what this does, we're going to do a print array and we're going to say get user role. We're going to save that. We're going to go over to our page and we're going to refresh and see now we have an unserialized array here that is subscriber. So in here we have a, uh, a, an array with a zero, the first array and a meta value and a serialized um, result. Now that does make it a little bit more difficult to parse out, but the it gives you the ability to, didn't mean to grab that, gives you the ability to, like I said, join a large array as a one query. So we're gonna get rid of this here because we don't care nothing about that. We're gonna go back up to just getting this here. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna say, okay, we need to find that first value of that key. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if get roll, come on, there we go. And that zero, we're gonna say if is set, right? So that's basically saying if there's a zero array in this array get roll, we're going to continue. Then we could say something down here, else echo no user found. Okay. So and then we can say let's do let's do a four up here just to give you guys an idea. So if we go back over here and refresh, it's going to say no user found because there's not a fourth role, right? But we're looking for this first role here. So now we're, we're going to we're going to do a print array on this and show you what that role, let's go step by step of each thing. So come back over here and refresh. Now we've got an object because we've selected this zero array, it's now become an object of the first one. And so what we want to pull is the meta value. And so if you don't know in uh, PHP, this gives you the ability to target the uh, key of an array. And then if it's an object, this is gonna be the object pointer to the property meta value. Okay, so if we save that, come over here and refresh. So now we have the serialized version of that meta value. Okay, so now we need to unserialize it. So let's come down here and let's say our role is equal to, and we're gonna copy this. Okay, so that's gonna give us that serialized version here of the role. And so then we can say dollar sign role is equal to unserialize and put in that role here. There we go. And so now if we, we're gonna get rid of this one. So now if we show, print that out to the screen here, whoops, didn't mean to highlight all that, go away, there we go. And we refresh, now we have an array with the subscriber as the key and one. Now, the problem with that is, is now we have to get what this subscriber role, this key is. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna reset the role, okay? And so, whoops, come on, go back there, there we go. Since this is an array, we're gonna reset just to make sure that we're grabbing this first one. In case there's multiples in there, we're gonna, we're gonna make sure we grab this first one by saying reset role, okay? So then the, we're gonna do a variable called first key is equal to key Roll, okay? So now if we echo that to the screen, 
first key and refresh. Now that gives us subscriber. So it seems like a long process to get that, that role from the database. But like I said, if you're, if you're doing a join where you're joining the user table um, with the user meta table because you're pulling 50 or 60 different users and you want that role to be included, it's so much easier to do a for each and then just write out, you know, basically this here. There we go, and we can get rid of this. So it would be so it's so much easier to do that with a um, in a, in a for each than calling get user meta capabilities for each user because then you're basically doing one database query to get all the users. And if you're pulling 50 users, now you're going to be doing 50 database queries for the to get the user role. And so joining the users table and the users meta with this, now you're going to get all the users and that capability. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.